I don't have to be who you want me to be. I'm free to be who I want. Bragging is when a person says something they can't do. I do what I say. And you, George Foreman, all you chumps are gonna bow when I whoop him. All y'all, I know you got him. I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am. I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am. So, what did you think of my impersonations of Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali? They need some work? I think so too. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As always, I hope you're keeping well. In this video, I'm going to talk about Muhammad Ali and specifically his jumping rope techniques. On this channel, I've made several videos in connection with Muhammad Ali. He inspired so many boxers, so many boxing fans, and even non-boxing fans with his powerful speeches and the way he led his life. So in this video, we're going to cover more Muhammad Ali. When a lot of people think about Muhammad Ali and recall footage of him in a boxing ring or in a boxing gym training, people often remember how light he was on his feet, his agility, his nimbleness. He had incredible footwork. Even people who weren't really boxing fans, they likely would have heard of his Ali shuffle, the way he would move his feet back and forth really quickly to distract and dazzle his opponents before maybe throwing a punch or moving out of the way. He was very light on his feet, and then he would speed it up. Just an awesome ring generalship person Ali was. I actually made a video on the Ali Shuffle, which I will provide a link to down below in the description. But in this video, I wanna talk about some other jump rope moves and jump rope combinations that Ali often performed in training. You know, when I think back to when I started jumping rope, I often tried to emulate boxers. Muhammad Ali, of course, Floyd Mayweather. I used to love, and I still love, the Puerto Rican former boxer, Miguel Cotto. I loved his footwork. Manny Pacquiao, I loved his can-can jump. Gennady Golovkin, I liked his boxer steps. Bernard Hopkins, I loved his toe taps, for example. Sugar Ray Robinson, I just used to love how he danced around with a jump rope. Similarly, the way Lulu Hodden, female fighter, would dance around with a jump rope, just perform incredible footwork. Katie Taylor, big fan of hers, the Irish boxer. Uh, seen a little bit of jump rope footage of her, seen her fight in, in, in person, incredible. Uh, Clarissa Shields, similarly, I've seen her fight. The female fighter, Christina Hammer, incredible jump rope ability. Um, Chris Cyborg, the UFC fighter, great to watch with the jump rope. So I've been influenced by so many fighters. I try to emulate their jump rope ability and incorporate some of my own personality. I'm going to be quiet in just a second and I'm going to play some footage of Muhammad Ali jumping rope. I just want you to watch it for yourselves and then afterwards we'll talk about what he was doing. So as you may have noticed from watching that footage, Muhammad Ali often liked to perform certain jump rope moves. He loved combining double unders with the jog step, as well as the jog step crisscross, and the jog step crisscross with a can-can kick, which I will show you in just a minute. And then in between that combination of jump rope moves, he would perform various boxers steps. Okay, so the double under, which I made several tutorial videos on this channel, is where you jump once and the rope makes two rotations under your feet. Okay, and then afterwards, Muhammad Ali often went from double unders into the jog step, like so. So, double unders, jog step. Double unders, jog step. Okay, so if you wanna try to jump rope like Muhammad Ali, you need to learn the jog step, I've made a video on that, I'll provide that down below. You need to learn double unders. And as we saw, he loved doing the jog step with crisscrosses. And after a few steps, he liked to throw in a crisscross. Go back to the jog step, crisscross. Like so, that's one of my favorite 
jump rope combinations. Jog step, crisscross. Jog step, crisscross. Crisscross. Jog step, crisscross. And then, in addition to the jog step crisscross, often when he crossed the rope, he threw in a little can-can kick. Like this. I covered the can-can uh, move in a previous video. So he liked to throw in one of those when he did the crisscross. Like so. So Ali crossed over his right hand over his left. That's how I first learned how to crisscross. But now I tend to crisscross with my left over my right. Although I do still practice both. So Ali would often combine those four jump rope moves, mix and match them around. And then in between those, he would do various boxer steps, which I will show you afterwards. So for example, he may do some jog steps with a crisscross, crisscross with a can-can, and then into double unders, often 10. And then back to the jog step, crisscross, Cross with a kick, double unders, jog step, and then various boxer steps. He liked doing rear toe taps, like this. I made a video on this. He often did two rear toe taps, or taps at the side. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then he liked doing this boxer step. I made a tutorial on this too. So you provide you a certain amount of hops on one foot before changing. And then you often just like the regular boxer skip. Shuffling back, shuffling your body weight from one foot to another. So I hope you enjoyed this jump rope video on the legendary Muhammad Ali. Getting hot, getting thirsty. Hope to see you guys all again soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the regular dance that I use just before the shuffle. I'm moving and I'm moving and I'm jumping around, and just before you know it, that's how we shuffle from the side beat. You see, that's the side beat. And then this is how we shuffle from the front beat. And just as soon as you do that shuffle, a split second right after that shuffle is a good punch. <laughs>